CSR or Corporate Social Responsibility. We keep on hearing this uh, very often now and then and this has become like um, it's a mandate for all the organizations who are reaching a certain level of profit who are operating at certain level of size in a particular country and especially in India it is a mandate for organizations who are uh, reaching a certain uh, range of profit margin but the thing is the question comes why is a corporate social responsibility has to be tied with a certain level of percentage of the organization why is it not a mandate even when this company or the corporate or the organization starts operating in India or in any country because when they are uh, you know operating in a particular country it's true that they are creating jobs it's true that they are, um, they are giving opportunities to the various kind of uh, segment of people educated uh, uneducated uh, technical non-technical and so on but a corporate social responsibility why does it have to be tied up to a certain slab of profit corporate social responsibility could be anything from planting a tree to cleaning the locality to teaching you know the underprivileged to sharing responsibility during any natural calamities and so on why is it that the companies have to shy away and wait for that certain percentage of profit to be earned to actually deliver the CSR. I was in one of the seminars where there was a very eminent speaker and he said, he mentioned that it's time that humanity forgets CSR and raises his morale or rises to PSR. The personal society responsibility like what is the responsibility of an individual at the personal level why is it that the corporate or the company had to incorporate those social responsibility we live in this society we live around in the society where we see all the kind of you know gaps the challenges and the difficulties faced by people who are less privileged or do not have an access to certain kind of facility or privileges why cannot we go ahead and stand by them try to help them out a lot of people do say to me but how can one person make a difference it was all that single person with whom the movement started if we go by India if we take about you know all the freedom fights and all the kind of protest that has led India to its final independence it all initiated with one single leader it started with one single ind individual so main thing is when you start correlating yourself to the society and you take up that as your challenge that as your responsibility to make a change in some people's life or the environment uh, you know that you are living in you're breathing in when you, you, you take up this responsibility of planting, let's say, even five trees a year, that is a PSR. I would say, why do the company have to, you know, make you do those? Aren't you living in this society? Aren't we, you know, taking all the advantages of this society? Forget about complaining about what could have been and comparing it with some other countries. In India, we have a lot of other things which many other countries do not have. We have one of the biggest democracy. Very few countries do enjoy that kind of freedom. We have the freedom of speech. We have the freedom to do whatever we want to do. Yes, there are misuses of those kind of freedoms in India, but it is also true that you can practice anything. You can practice any religion. You can speak up your, you know, what you have in mind, and even if it is against the government, you can. You have all the right to write, to protest and put your point forward. When you are living in this uh, country, when you are living in this society, in India, we are blessed with rivers. We had so many rivers, which was fresh water, which used to feed uh, a lot of millions of people with pure drinking water. Now those rivers are contaminated. 
Now those rivers are absolutely unusable. Now those rivers are changing courses and it is drying up. So why can't you take the responsibility to clean up the plastics from the river, not to dump the chemicals in the river, not to, you know, when you go to the Ganges, uh, uh, the other day I was having a conversation, they said like, you know, the companies are dumping the chemicals uh, in the Ganges. And I was, I was saying like, okay, that's, that's true. So the government policies uh, are going to be, uh, you know, more strict, more rigid uh, to curb this kind of pollution. But you also do pollute. And this person was like, oh, you don't, don't, don't you point a finger to me because I'm a very religious person and Ganges is uh, like my mother. So I said, like, have you visited the Ganges? He said, every year I do visit. I go to Benares, I go to Haridwar. I said, that's absolutely fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. And I have no intention of hurting your, you know, emotion related to the religion. Even I am a Hindu. I believe in, you know, uh, the importance of River Ganges. But tell me, when you go to Haridwar, don't you offer your uh, prayers? Don't you offer your, uh, uh, you know, offerings to the Ganges? Don't you take that holy dip? He said, yes, I do take the holy dip. I said, don't you do the puja? Don't you do the, uh, uh, you know, worshipping of the goddess? He, you know, he said, yes, I do. I said, how you do it? He said, it's very simple. You must be knowing it yourself. I said, no, but I still want to know from you. What are you doing? When you go there, he said, like, you know, we take flowers and we take offerings. We take a fruit and we pray to the mother goddess, Ganges. And we offer those flowers. We burn an incense stick. We offer the flower and the fruit to the Ganges. Now I said, like, have you ever thought like every year in you know Haridwar, every year I'm saying about five million people visit the Ganges every month. Five million. So think about it. Five million people visiting the Ganges, offering the puja, burning the incense stick. That is five million incense sticks which adds up to the air pollution that's for sure second because the incense sticks are made out of charcoal and inside they have the bamboo uh, stick so bamboo is absolutely uh, unhealthy it's absolutely uh, people have found the scientists have found that it, it it emits a kind of smoke which is carcinogenic it causes cancer second thing is it has charcoal which burns and it uh, you know uh, adds up to the air pollution the flower have you ever thought about it? The handful of flour that you, one person, is dumping on the Ganges in the name, in the context of offering the puja, five million people offering a handful of flowers. That means five million handful of flowers. Have you ever thought about where these flowers go? What happens to this flower? These flowers, absolutely is true. The companies are dumping chemicals. The companies are dumping toxics. That's absolutely true. Now let's talk about ourselves. When you're doing the puja, five million people, handful of flowers, five million incense sticks. Not only you are adding to the air pollution, you are adding to the water pollution also. These flowers in the Ganges, in the river, they are going to rot up. They are going to get dumped somewhere on the banks. And the flow of the river is going to get stopped. You might say it's organic. It, it's going to get uh, mixed up with the, uh, you know, the soil and the water and so on. But what is actually happening is it's contaminating the whole water. Because when 5 million handful of flowers accumulate in one place, it creates a blockage. The river is not free flowing. When it is not free flowing, the other debris, other garbage which already dumped in the river, it's not moving away. Even if it is moving away, where is it all getting collected to? Either it's getting dumped into the sea or it's getting collected to the banks. So the banks are becoming wider, the river becoming narrower and you are contributing towards pollution. Now, obviously, the person didn't take my advice uh, pretty good in a very, very sporting manner. And uh, well, but the question is whether it's taken in a sporty manner or not what we are talking about is 
we can talk about the CSR, the corporate social society responsibility or the corporate social responsibility later on. Well, let's talk about the PSR, the personal society responsibility. You being a social being, living in the society, what are you doing? What are you doing to make the society better? What are you doing to contribute towards the betterment of the people in the society? What are you doing towards the underprivileged in the society? What are you doing towards the environment? See, there are a lot of questions. There are a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of organizations, NGOs and societies who are working in this ground. So when you are the person who is, you know, taking responsibility about everything, why do you have to wait for the company to initiate the CSR program and plant the tree? Why can't you take, uh, it's like an oath, like every year I'll be planting five trees at least. At least five trees. So it's not much. It's not much. It's not even 50%. If I say six trees, it's 50%. So one tree every two months. Can't you do that? Really can't you do that? We have so much of vacant land. We have so much of vacant spaces all here and there. All you need to do is plant a sapling there. Take care of it for a few days. Okay. And, you know, it grows into a tree. It changes the ecosystem. You have a contribution to a fresher environment, to a better environment. So, what are the ways one can get, uh, you know, uh, out of this mindset of CSR to PSR? The first thing is contributing money. There are many NGOs, there are many societies. The other day, after the cyclone Amphan hit Bengal, um, I literally, uh, you know, I would like this opportunity to thank those young minds who were literally posting across Facebook that if you have a space, please give us a call in this number, leave us a message. We will go to your house. We will plant a good tree on your behalf. We will give you everything. We will give you the sapling. We will give you the fertilizers. We will take care of it. Just give us that space. And I, I found it absolutely overwhelming when a lot of people actually left messages, left their numbers and there were constant uh, feeds, video feeds and photo feeds from these young minds. These were only students from colleges and pass outs who made a group and they were planting trees all across people's houses and places where people were ready to uh, plant a tree. So why can't you join with that kind of organization and contribute a small amount of your uh, contribution? It doesn't have to be millions. It doesn't have to be lakhs. But the thing is, even 500 rupees from yours can make a make you know great, great change. That might help those kind of organizations to buy five saplings, a bit of fertilizer and take care of the plant. So when you have that opportunity right, to make a difference, please contribute. There are so many organizations, I wouldn't like to talk about them uh, over here, uh, it might sound like an advertisement, but I'm personally, I'm a, uh, I am a member with Greenpeace and I do support what they're doing globally uh, towards the climate change and uh, yes, every month I do uh, you know, share a very small token amount which is 300 rupees. And if I would have thought like what 300 rupees and a year that is 3600 rupees is going to make. Uh, but that's what my limitations are. Uh, but I'm sure that 3600 rupees makes some bit of change when it gets accumulated with other like-minded people. Right. Second thing is give your time. A lot of people say, oh, you know, I, you know, I work from Monday to Friday. I hardly have time on Saturday and Sunday. But it is not that every Saturday and Sunday you have to go and do something. It's like you can plan out something. You can involve your children into this process. What is happening is, you know, they also take up responsibility um, as you. And they also grow up as social responsible people uh, who believe that their contribution should be there in the society wherein they live, wherein they study, wherein they uh, enjoy all the privileges. So not only you are doing a great job, uh, you know, contributing towards the society, you are actually creating the next level contributors. So your children get, con you know, uh, connected to uh, the purpose and, you know, they also understand the importance of it. They start respecting the environment. They start respecting the underprivileged, the challenge. They start respecting uh, you know the people 
with lesser resource and they become much more contributive like for extent uh, you know for, for instance I'll, I'll tell you I personally I personally support uh, one project uh, you you guys can you guys can uh, read about this project it's called Bhalo Pahad or the good mountain okay so I personally support that project and uh, uh, you know uh, the founder of the project Mr. Kamal uh, Kanti Chakravarti is uh, an elderly uh, person and uh, past 20 25 years he been planting trees uh, all by himself you know like uh, along with uh, a few of his helping hands he has planted over 15 to uh, 18 18 lakhs of trees in the area of purulia in uh, in west bengal and you guys wouldn't believe it has completely changed the whole ecosystem it has completely converted into a huge man-made forest it is so beautiful in a place where the temperature in the summertime soars at 48, 49 degree temperature, um, you know, this is an old elderly person who has, you know, who every day, uh, you know, he's seen either plowing the field, uh, putting the saplings, taking care of the trees, watering the trees and so on. Past 25 years he's been doing that and along with that he's also uh, teaching the tribal uh, children uh, up to he has also made a small school uh, which is up to plus eight so I, I personally feel very connected to this kind of project wherein I can see I can get involved and uh, you know I, I take my uh, you know family my son loves to go there because there are so many uh, beautiful trees uh, and it's so wonderful walking in the forest any time of the day my wife is also uh, pretty attached to this place and uh, he she likes uh, you know to talk to the tribal woman to spend the time with the children and so on my son loves uh, the uh, you know uh, poultry and uh, animals around uh, he, he finds it absolutely astonishing seeing ducks hens and cows goats and so on which he cannot see much in the uh, you know in, in in Kolkata so he feels also very connected he has been uh, going along with me past five years so he also believes he starts he has started believing the trees are very important for us the trees are uh, needed for us to live and that uh, we should take care of the trees we should plant trees and uh, accordingly what is happening is every year uh, we go there every year uh, you know we uh, get associated with one of their events whether it is the 15th August celebration whether it is the foundation day celebration whatsoever but the thing is we enjoy thoroughly we stay there for two three days uh, we participate in those kind of activities and it's not always about money there are days when I uh, I couldn't uh, you know shell out any money um, you know maybe I just gave 500 rupees but the thing is that that is not what the point is the point is your involvement your time into the project which makes you realize your responsibility that's the second point third thing is I have found that whenever somebody says that oh you know I am associated with that organization which is working towards uh, the physically challenged or the environment or you know educating uh, the slum children and so on I have found many a t uh, many a many a time uh, you know people do discourage you like uh, you know what's the good I mean like oh don't talk about those NGOs you know whatever funds you give in the NGOs they are all uh, you know uh, at, in a loss because they personally uh, do not give it to the people who are deserving and uh, you know NGOs uh, basically are misusing the funds and so on see these are all excuses uh, that reminds me of uh, something that I read in a book like it was so uh, that uh, one of the president of the company in US was uh, uh, in, in a rally was uh, or, you know present and he uh, it was a rally for the handicapped children and he uh, at, uh, when he was asked to deliver his speech um, he uh, did say uh, his responsibility and uh, he left you know he, he delivered his speech and at the end of the speech he announced that he is going to donate one million dollars uh, into the account uh, of that uh, organization which is taking care of those uh, physically challenged uh, children and towards their betterment uh, of those uh, of those children so uh, among the press was one guy who stood up and asked like sir uh, do you believe that uh, this huge amount uh, of money 
it, it is it is the right decision to give it to an organization um, you know uh, for for working for this uh, physically challenged children the answer was uh, something that uh, would echo in this reporter's ear for years and i will remember for uh, my rest of my life he said that a donation of 1 million or more than that matters you know when i'm donating this amount huge amount of the money you say for the handicapped children for the maintenance of them for the betterment of their life matters when one of the children among them is yours so that was something tremendously visionary of that person to say about like you know we do not feel connected unless we ourselves are affected by it you know see the covid-19 situation everybody is affected so everybody can co relate everybody feels i mean doesn't matter if there is a death in us if the death numbers are increasing in us or italy and if i'm staying in india it still grieves my heart because i can believe i i now know that i am also uh, exposed to this and i could have been that person who's dead and a death in in any family is painful and i can co relate immediately so that's the kind of thing i mean like he what he mentioned was you know a 1 million uh, donation or more than that uh, would matter you know when one of the children one of your children is handicapped and is among that group of children for whom they are working so the thing is main main situation here is when somebody is working already working on a, on a kind of challenge on a kind of situation please do not discourage them because whatever they are doing whatever they are doing uh, you know in in terms of contribution in terms of contributing towards the betterment of uh, the society the children the environment whatever they are doing these are leaders who have taken initiative who have taken initiative towards making the society different if they are doing something why discourage them do not discourage them try to you know be with them try to see the vision, you know view uh, which they are seeing many a times we lack that uh, vision which one person or the leader has so be with those kind of people who are visionary so you can also see the importance of your personal contribution it's the time for csr is over i keep on repeating corporate social responsibility is something induced is something implemented is something uh, which uh, many a times people say are forced upon but it is time for psr personal society responsibility be that person who is responsible towards the society be that person who believes that the society has given you a lot and is the time to give back to the society if not today when if not if not now then when it's high time that we come out of our circle of me and myself and be with the society because you believe we cannot be disconnected we are all connected the social distancing the other day i was reading a report from uh, world health organization wherein they have mentioned what is the definition of good health the definition of good health means good personal health good mental health and good social health so first thing is a good physical health which is like you have a strong body you have a strong immunity uh, you are taking your food you are exercising you have a strong body that's a physical health what is mental health you are taking care of your mental health because of with the covid 19 situation we can see depression we can see confusion we can see uh, you know paranoia absolutely across the whole society whether it's india whether it's italy whether it's us whether it's australia doesn't matter people are committing suicide people are afraid people are paranoid what are you doing to help them are you going ahead and saying to them that i am available when you are feeling depressed when you are feeling down please give me a call let's talk over it let's you know discuss about it i mean that is a psr you don't always have to spend money to support something even even uh, I, i would say if you do not take it otherwise this whole channel for career counseling online you know i started coming i've been doing it over linkedin 
since 2012 i never went live but since march i started receiving so many calls of people they were frustrated they were depressed of being laid off after 16 years of service with the company 18 years of service with the company laid off just like that pay cuts at 60 percent and people were depressed people were afraid and professionals were the worst who were affected the mental health was deteriorating was down the drain trust me so what i believed was i couldn't do much change i couldn't do much to you know uh, you know change the situation which is the pandemic but what i can do is i can be a patient listener so i started taking calls i started talking to those people uh, who who felt comfortable talking to me after a job loss or a pay loss or a pay cut or whatsoever and then I uh, believe that, you know, instead of talking to individuals, which I will obviously do, I am available 24 by 7, let us go to the people. Let me take the help of the Facebook live platform and, you know, come, you know, come closer to the people who are facing this challenge. So that's the whole thing which initiated Career Counseling Online, uh, uh, you know, this channel, this YouTube channel, the Facebook page. And I really, really appreciate all your love. In the first seven days of this Facebook page, we turned 1,000, which is a great achievement, which is a great achievement. I am not a certified trainer. I'm not a certified psychiatrist. I'm not a certified counselor. But people could correlate to my videos. People could correlate to what I'm saying. So what I'm talking about here is you don't have to always spend money. You don't always have to you know, go out and do something. You can feel connected to some reason or others, and you can be that's you know personally you know responsible social being who is depending on others also because when you are helping others let us be very clear some other day you might be requiring help where do you go if you are not standing up for some somebody today who do you go to let's say when i feel i mean i i am talking about positivity i'm talking about uh, feeling all good factor i'm uh, you know talking about staying positive but every human being has a psychological level uh, which is limited to the kind of tolerance to the external factors i might be able to take the covid-19 situation and the paranoia and everything positively that is okay but there might be a situation which might be so challenging that even I, with 100% of positivity and 100% of, uh, you know, feel-good factor inside me, I start uh, crumbling down. Where do I go? Where do I go and talk to? Whom do I, you know, consult? Whom do I even, you know, you know, when I approach them, why would they help me? Why would they help me? What have I done on my part to help the others, to make a change in their life? Because when I have made a bit change in others' life, they will also feel obliged they will also feel thankful and when i ask for any kind of help from them if i just want to talk to them if i want to speak my mind out they will be very patient leader they will be motivating me and when they motivate me i'll be again back on the track so guys it doesn't matter whether you can shell out you know some money for the ngos for the cause it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter all that matters is are you able to give time to that cause and are you encouraging those people who are already doing it many a times it might happen that you are not able to give money you're not able to give a financial support neither you're able to give time but you can always motivate them you can always encourage them please do not stop anybody who are trying to do something the other day my college friends collected a bit of fun and they uh, accumulated food grains and old clothes and uh, you know uh, uh, daily necessities very less amount and they went to a village almost near Sundarban where the effect of Amphan cyclone was the worst people are living like they are living in the water world I mean every human being there are you know are, are standing in water which is up to their neck they don't have their home they don't have a dry place to even even stand even go there a completely the village is submerged under water so my friends went there and i found a lot of other friends uh, over facebook wrote like so how much rice are you guys carrying how much dal you are carrying how much pulses you are carrying uh, how many clothes are you carrying when they actually mentioned the amount 
then this guy actually you know was so insensible he said like but this will not be able to even help more than 10 families my question to my friend is if these people are taking up an initiative and if it helps 10 families for let's say even a week can you just stop being that keyboard warrior writing all nonsense over facebook can you come out these are the friends of mine in college we are affected by you know uh, the covid situation very badly in bengal the number is increasing amidst this they take all their security of family their children at stake and they go and meet these people and they hand over this small things that could they collect and you instead of encouraging or asking question from a safe zone typing from your mobile or your laptop this is very painful guys this is very painful if even somebody can help one person please do not discourage them because you are not helping anybody neither that person nor the person who's trying to help it might sound very stupid it might sound very very uh, illogical but please if you're that logical come out help people be that social being who's contributed so with that note today guys let me wind up this session of morning vibes with carry counseling so we end up with the same thing the time for csr is over the corporate social responsibility it is over it is time for the psr or the personal society responsibility be that responsible being be that responsible person take up that responsibility and recognize your contribution matters that you are a part of the society we have been living like marooned island for a long time and we have seen when the covid-19 pandemic hit everybody was depressed because they had you know cut off all their bridges with the people they had their friends their relatives and so on and they were happy living all by themselves now with the pandemic you know pandemic happening and social distance happening and the human contacts cut off everybody is suffering from a depression why because they do not have anybody to talk to why because he never stood up or she never stood up when the other person or the friend or other relative wanted to talk to him so please stand by your friends stand by your family stand by those who are trying to do something that is the first step towards psr be that social responsible person be that kind sensible person stay home stay safe guys and when time permits do like our facebook page which is career counseling online and in linkedin we have a wonderful interactive group please join there we have a lot of interactions going on uh, in the group we have a lot of psychiatrists we have a lot of counselors we have a lot of uh, high rank professionals who are sharing their insights and it's a very interactive group so join that uh, group in linkedin and career counseling online is uh, the facebook page and you can also visit our web page which is career counseling online that code out in so with that note guys stay home take care stay safe absolutely stay safe right take care guys have a wonderful weekend